So this on 11387 is a frequency for air, uh, aircraft or aeronautical frequency for HFDL, which is um, something like high frequency data link. Uh, this is data sent from airplanes and, and uh, transmitting stations uh, that are digital information about plane position and uh, type of aircraft, uh, you know, the company and all of that. So right now, this is hooked to MultiPSK. I'll link to the download of this software. So MultiPSK, actually the codes and all the data that I'm getting. So here you see, it's giving you the flight identification. So you know which plane it is, the latitude, longitude of the plane, and so on. So um, uh, you can get all the different um, stations and so you'll see also the transmitting stations and information like Riverhead New York is where most of the traffic is from and of course all the information that has to do with the data transmission now uh, as you see here it just said that no more HDL for now I'll have to restart the software and the reason is uh, this is a professional mode so the software to do to actually decode this usually will be uh, software that is um, software that you have to pay. There's another one called um, HFDL, PC HFDL, um, and that, of course, is also another piece of software as you see here. Uh, and of course, we'll get the same information PC HFDL. You can restart it and have a couple of minutes to decode before it stops working, but you can just relaunch it. Uh, here I was using MultiPSK, so I don't know if this one has completely stopped or not. Some software are like that. Um, basically, you'd have to purchase the license of MultiPSK for it to unlock all sorts of digital modes. So we'll see what it looks like. Let's go back to receive transmit screen. So can I still, yeah, it's still gonna work. HFDL, yeah, you just have to restart the software for it to to run again and uh, give you, um, I guess, about five minutes of the code before it stops. So it's a relaunch of the software when you want to restart and re reuse it again, unless you just pay the license for the software. What's really cool about MultiPSK, though, is that that little map, the world map you see here, actually will display dots on the map of where the planes are in the decode. So the latitude and longitude of each plane will, every time there's a decode, give you a little colored dot. You see here, there's a dot that appeared in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. This is the positioning of the plane that just actually sent its uh, data link. So you could see it here, a uh, little dot there. And of course, as it decodes, you'll see more and more of these little dots appear on the world map to show you the positioning of the planes as sent through this digital link. So um, I'll actually share the link where you can download MultiPSK. And um, in the next video, I'll also talk about where frequencies are used to get the uh, HF data link for aeronautical purposes. Uh, and like that you'll have uh, some things to play with which is a lot of fun so here I'm at uh, tuned to the Riverhead New York frequency which is 11387 is very pretty good here usually and has a lot of traffic too so more to come hope you enjoy the videos if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching